This is Mrs. Miyasaki, and I brought some friends along, my dog Daisy and the panther. <laughs> and we're going to read Clifford's Spring Cleanup by Norman Bridwell. Happy spring! I'm Emily Elizabeth. At our house, it's time for spring cleaning again. Last year, the whole family worked hard, even my big red dog Clifford. My first job was to hang up some rugs out to air, and Clifford wanted to help. He took the rug outside and gave it a good shaking. I guess he shook it a little too hard, and Mom said we might as well wax the living room floor as long as the rug was out. Mommy and Daddy started to move the furniture outside. When Clifford saw the couch, his eyes lit up. He was he he used to curl up on it when he was a small puppy. Crunch! He <laughs> didn't fit on it anymore. Good thing the couch was so old. Daddy was going to get a new one anyway. <laughs> and there is a still a lot of spring cleaning to do. Clifford cleaned the windows all by himself. First he washed them, and then he dried them with his tail. And Mommy didn't think Clifford um, did, did a very good job. A little fur on the windows there. And so he washed the windows again. We all washed it. Poor Daddy, he had to rake the yard, and it looked as if it would take him all day but not with Clifford to help. One big breath and the leaves are done. And just then, some of my friends came by and they asked me to help them clean up the vacant lot in the corner. It was their Earth Day project. So they saw a dirty spot in the neighborhood and they're gonna clean it up. Clifford did his part for Earth Day. So he helped gather all the trash, put it in trash bags, break up all the leaves. And then we planted a beautiful garden. On the way home, Clifford and I saw some people working on another Earth Day project. They're painting the benches. Clifford, they gave them a, a hand, or a tail, I should say, to so help paint. And back at home, there was another job to do. Clifford's house needed some spring cleaning too. This was really messy there. And he swept out his old boats and he tossed out a collection of his old rubber toys. It made quite a large pile. Somehow Clifford got it into the garbage truck. Much to the surprise of the driver. <laughs> it was like lifted up. And now both our houses were neat and clean. That was a good day's work. So this book is about Earth Day, so it's celebrated every year on April 22nd. Um, um, and it's something that you do for your neighborhood or your community or even just your own house. So Panther, what are you gonna do to celebrate Earth Day? Oh, great idea, using a recyclable bag so we don't keep using the same thing over. And what else do you have in there? Oh, recycling plastic. Excellent idea, Panther. And, oh, planting some flowers. That's a great thing to do. Plant some things in your garden. Great job, Panther. Good job. All right, so thank you for joining us. And stay safe, keep reading, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.